Hello, gorgeous. Been a while. What's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video hopefully it's not too windy and you guys can hear me but anyways this is another video on the sti and it's just five of the mods and things i love about this car that i've done to the car so far so all right so let's go ahead and start with the five things that i love the five mods and five things that i love about this car so the first first mod or you should say, yeah, mod for the STI, are the Recaro seats. Not only do they look freaking clean in this car, but man, they're just, they're just so much more comfortable. And the sitting position is just a lot better because you sit pretty low. Um, I'm not a tall guy or anything, but it's definitely better than the stock seats that the car came with. Um, I just felt like the, car, the, the stock seats, they were all leather so it will definitely i will definitely move around a lot and slide around a lot because um, of the leather and they also just look better than the stock seats not only are they more comfortable they just look better with the red alcantara inserts and the ricardo name and then in the back i have one of them i know i need to get the other one but the other one of them has a carbon fiber i put a carbon fiber blacking paint on it and it just overall looks a lot cleaner these are not in order, so that's one of them. And then my next mod, or mods, should I say, is the front end of this car. Um, as you can see, I've done, this is a 2015 STI, and I did a facelift, the 2018 one. And yeah, so definitely my favorite part of this car is the front end with the fog light bezels and the carbon fiber lip for Saibon and the APR splitter that fits the carbon fiber lip. It just overall looks freaking clean along with the headlights, the grill from MBR, the little um, bar from MBR, and then that grin speed front mount intercooler just sticking out right there in your face. It definitely looks sick. It definitely looks mean as hell. Um, I just love how the way it looks now. Um, before I had the, tw the 2015 bumper, it wasn't as aggressive. And as soon as this bumper came out, Damn, it just changed the look of this car completely. Um, definitely, if you have a 2015 to 2017, I would suggest picking up this bumper. I picked it up from Subaru. I have a video on it and everything I've done to the front bumper, but yeah. Picked it up from Subaru, got it painted the same color as the car, and then I just wrapped it right now. The whole car's wrapped. Um, but yeah, so everything looks sick. This is like the, by far my favorite part of the car is the front end. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody can agree that the front end just looks so much better than before. <laughs> Compared to a stock STI, yeah. You need a front lip on these cars and to make it look sick because if you don't have a front lip, it just, I don't know, it just looks naked right there. That's why on the 2022 WX, I'm hoping they do some type of facelift soon. Um, kind of like how the Corolla right now, the GR Corolla is getting a facelift. I wish Subaru would do their own facelift on their WRX just, you know, just to keep it fresh because that bumper, that rear bumper overall is really bad. It's ugly on that car. <laughs> so yeah, waiting on Subaru to do something about that. And then if they do, we'll definitely pick it up. But yeah, overall, that's one of another many of the mods that I love. And for the third mod, I like looking in the front still, it's this WRX Daily hood. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. Overall, it just looks a lot more aggressive. I know it's not a Subaru without the hood scoop, but with the vents like that, it looks freaking sick. And plus I went front mount, and ever since I went front mount, I, didn't, I never needed the hood scoop anymore. It was creating some back pressure. So yeah, it's definitely not um, helping the car, I would say. So yeah, this definitely looks 
sick and I love it. And I love the way it looks. It fits pretty perfect. It, at first it wasn't fitting 100% because it was kind of long offside it, but I did order the arrow catch um, hood pins and install those. You, I have a video on that, how to install those. But yeah, I put those on and overall, it just looks aggressive. <laughs> I do miss the side hood with the hood scoop, but since I went from that, what's the point of having a hood scoop? So yeah, people call it an Evo hood, but it is not. It's a Varus hood. I think Varus makes them for almost all kinds of cars. Um, but yeah, they just have the vents on them and everything. Um, but yeah, overall, I was looking for this hood for a while. I was gonna almost gonna pull the trigger on a Varus hood, but that hood, it costs almost nearly $3,000 for that hood. So glad that WX Daily came out with their own and yeah so you can get that one on their website all right and for the fourth thing i love about this car is the sound which is the tome exhaust it sounds freaking clean I'll, sh I'll let you guys hear it just in a second but yeah it sounds freaking nice and i love how it sounds that is probably one of the best mods i did to the car to unleash the rumble and plus the single exit a lot of people don't like it but i i have grown to love it it just looks uh a lot better i would just say i don't think i'm ever gonna go dual unless they come out with a tome that's dual um uh, dual tome pipes but for now yeah that is one of the mods that i love it's freaking extremely loud um it had, even with a muffler and a resonator and it's still super loud for this car so yeah and it sounds clean just take a listen fifth and final things I like about what I've done to the car is the Alcantara um, inserts in the car from Overland Designs they freaking look sick and they overall just makes the car a lot look a lot better interior wise and they match the seats so the seats and the Alcantara all over the car just kind of completes the whole look of it and it just makes the car in, in the inside look really, I don't know, really good. And overall, looks great and yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, if there's anything you like about the car, overall, I like everything, the wheels, the, the wrap, the whole engine bay looking, everything, the spoiler, um, it just all comes together with this car. Looks like a little, like a little track car, but you know, I don't take it to the track. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to break anything and crash it or something and then there goes this STI. So yeah Well, yeah, let me know what you guys think and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out